Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today's video we're going to be doing a kind of full face but not so much of Poundland makeup. So they're all by this brand Makeup Gallery which is like their own brand. I haven't got like exactly a full face because they didn't have everything there. It was either out of stock or they didn't, I don't think they sold some things like I couldn't see like a primer. They only had like very limited like brow things and only a few eyeshadows so I didn't pick like everything up. But but I picked up what I can so let's just have a look at what we've got so yes these all were a pound so I've got a mascara I've got a foundation so this was like the lightest foundation it is in the shade one swan but then this is the lightest concealer and that's in the shade one swan so they don't like look the same so that'll be interesting to see I have got a lip liner and that is in the shade nude caramel six what else have i got i've got a brow gel like just a clear one uh i've got a bronzer and it looks quite warm but i think this one was the lightest one uh matte light one i have got a pressed powder in translucent one and i have got two lip products so i've got a clear plumping gloss and then a intense colour and shine lip gloss like these look like the NYX glosses if you weren't looking properly. Okay so I've been just been picking little bits up here and there for this video. So I've had like the foundation probably like the longest because I saw it and I grabbed it. And like it's settled. Um, how weird is that? It's like it's settled. I, I've literally had it like about two months. And that is so weird. So I'm going to like oh listen to how watery that is that is weird i mean it's only a pound but you know it just says it's a long lasting foundation vitamin enriched it's 26 mil so not a full 30 mil it just says it's a long lasting foundation with a natural matte finish enriched with vitamins to nurture your skin while maintaining a flawless coverage lightweight base so it doesn't so if it says it's like a lightweight base does that mean it's not going to be full coverage but it's this flawless coverage so it's kind of like it just kind of it doesn't say any specific claims it doesn't say it's full coverage it just says flawless coverage which could be anything really so um i've got some brushes here i'm going to put it on with this tapered foundation brush that i picked up from h&m it was like two pound in the sale so i just wanted to like try it out so this is like a really good color for me like it's quite a light color um i didn't find a primer as i mentioned before oh this is going everywhere already um so i'm just not wearing a primer i've moisturized my skin so and then we'll set it afterwards so um yeah i'm just gonna fast forward you now while i put this on first pass done of the foundation and I don't know if you saw like I squeezed it up a little bit and it all just went everywhere so it's very very liquidy so be very careful with that and um, I had to just switch my brushes and then I've kind of gone into like this big morphe brush and I'm not sure if it was the brush that wasn't like blending it out properly or if it was just so liquidy that it's not blended well but I'm, it's just a clean brush and I'm just like patting it in just to get rid of all those like streak marks but I don't know like I've got a spot here that's coming through don't mind my nails I've got spots around my mouth from where I've been wearing my mask I'm coming out with mask need quite bad I've got a spot here that is not covered up so um oh and I've um it's clinging like to a little dry patch around my nose so um i'm just gonna try and put like a little bit more on and see if i can cover any of those spots okay so i've just put like a little bit around this spot and around these here and i don't think it's layered that well um it kind of feels a bit cakey and it doesn't look like it's sitting into the skin just like it's sitting on top of it oh so that is not great so we're gonna have a look at the concealer now 
Okay, so onto the concealer. I'm a little nervous about using this because it is a darker colour than the foundation. So let's have a little look. Um, it's not squeezing out. Is there anything in here? Oh, there we go. I was expecting it to be really thick and it's not. So let's have a little look at this. Um, the concealer is not the worst maybe like the foundation has oxidized a little bit but looking at it on here it doesn't look too bad I don't know what it's gonna look like on camera but again it's not sitting in my uh, settling into my skin it's just sitting on top like it looks really patchy on my nose under my eyes like and I didn't use like a great amount so it's not like I used too much product Um. Yeah, so not great at the moment. I wanted to film like another video after this, so I might not be able to if this looks absolutely horrendous. <laughs> okay, so on to the powder now. So this is the Makeup Gallery Smoothly Does It Press Powder, and I'm pretty sure I've used this powder before, and it was like quite good. So I like the colour. Let's um, let's just see what it goes on like. On and yeah absolutely fine the powder um, I've used, I'm sure I've used this powder before and it's been fine um, I feel like it's smoothed out some of like the under eye like patchiness not on the nose I've still got quite a bit of patchiness on my nose but you know under like my eyes and hair I feel like a lot smoother so yeah best product that I've tried out of the three so far okay so we're on to the bronzer now and this just looks so warm so we'll see what this looks out like bronze is like a little bit weird um, I don't know how it's looking on camera um, but when like I've been putting it on it's kind of like just been blending into nothing like I don't know if you saw like at the beginning when I was putting it on and then there was like nothing there so I feel like I've had to really build it up just to like what it is now I don't know it's like it's really weird it's, it's just not that pigmented like you can hardly see that I've got any around like my head like or around my face I should say um, yeah it's just a really weird bronzer and I wouldn't recommend that one okay, so on to brows now this is just like a clear brow gel so we're not going to see like a great deal of difference um, and my brows are like microbladed so like there's at least something there I mean this is not bad, it's like it is taming my brows down. Um, yeah, I think do you think they look sleeker? I think they do, because I've got like a few rogue hairs like here that just like stick up and it's tamed them. And I've got a few here that do the same and yeah, they're they're down now. So yeah, that that's alright as well. Yeah, that's a that kind of, that's an alright product. Okay, so mascara so this just says turn up the volume and define i mean it's got like a nice brush on it let's uh let's see if it actually does anything though but it's definitely separating my lashes okay 
so yeah that one's not bad as well I don't know how well you can see let me see if I can zoom you in okay so this is the one that's got the mascara on and this is the one that hasn't so obviously it's not like the best mascara in the world but like it's you can definitely see it's separated and lengthen them so yeah not like a bad everyday mascara and that's just like with one coat as well so obviously you could go in and you know put more layers on and like amp it up quite a bit but yeah not bad so far I haven't got a highlighter because the only highlighters they had were cream ones and I've never found a good highlighter that is cream that will work on my skin it just moves my foundation so if you have any like good recommendations for ones that's not gonna slip and slide all over the, my face let me know um I've not really big on cream blushes neither because I feel like they kind of do the same but I have ordered like one of the coral p louise bases to try using it as a blush so we'll see how that goes so i've got one of the liners here so this is a nude caramel so i'll just do like a little swatch here um it's kind of quite peachy um so it just looks like that and yeah it's, it's quite a nice one um i've got this intense color and shine gloss so let's oh did you hear that smack like Oh, that might be like stickiness. Um, so let's just see. With oh, I do not like that sound. Um, it feels a little bit sticky on my hand, but like it's got a nice colour to it. And then I've got the pump, plump up the volume gloss. So obviously that's like just clear. Um, you can't really see much of that. So. I don't fancy using the gloss um, so what I think I'm going to do is I'm going to put the liner on and then just put the gloss over it okay, so that's like the liner on um, I, I didn't film it because I look awful applying lip liners like I make such random faces um, my lips aren't in the great condition at the moment they really need like moisturising and um, maybe even a lip scrub so yeah another reason why I didn't want to film it but it looks quite peachy so I think that um that description of being called nude caramel um, is probably not quite accurate because I would have assumed it'd be more like brownie. <laughs> anyway, so let's have a look at the gloss. So when I applied like, the gloss on my hand, I had it on my hand for a few minutes like while I was applying the liner and it didn't feel like, um, you know, when you get like a plumping gloss, when you get like a tingle, anything like that. So it's not that kind of plumping. It's just like a gloss to make your lips look bigger. So let's put this on. Okay, so that's the gloss. Yeah, it looks all right. Okay, so I've just like left that gloss on my lips for a couple of minutes. I'm expecting like the postman to be here because he's supposed to be here before one and it's like about half twelve. So I keep looking out the window. So I just went like away for like a few minutes and now my lips are tingling. So um, I, like, I hope I have like really like voluminous light lips soon because I'm not big on like plumping lips it's not uncomfortable it's just a tingle so yeah um what I said before about it, it just being a gloss it's not just a gloss it is actually plumping okay so that's like everything that I've got I think my face looks all right considering um the foundation was like a no for me it wasn't that great to apply and I don't feel like I got a great coverage the concealer was also a no because it like didn't apply very well the bronzer was a no because like I feel like it blended away and it really needed like packing on and um, like at some points when I was like packing it like putting it on my face you could see like dust all flying past and that was probably like the pigment like flying away and um, the powder yeah absolutely fine like the powder I will continue to use that the brow gel again really good the mascara was quite nice it's good for everyday wear I did like how it lengthened and separated my lashes but considering it's called turn up the volume I didn't feel like it volumized my lashes they give me nice for everyday wear and you know for wearing with false lashes it might be good as well um but yeah it's, it's all right for a pound if i've not said it a million times before all these items were just a pound um the liner okay um i think i would have liked it a little bit darker because i think peach um is like can wash me out a little bit so i'm trying not to wear peach um 
I didn't actually try the gloss on my face, but I didn't like on my lips. Um, I didn't like the sound, like that smack that came out of the um, like the tube when I opened it, um, and it felt a bit sticky on my hand. Um, the gloss, the other yeah, gloss is nice. I think it looks nice. It's still tingling on my lips. Um, so yeah, there are some like hits and misses, but like, bear in mind they're only a pound, so even if it doesn't work out for you, it didn't cost you the world, you know, you could maybe pass it on to somebody else who could, you know, might work for them instead, but I would definitely say, definitely check out the powder and the brow gel, I think, like, out of all of everything, they're, like, my two absolute favourites out of everything, but, you know, it didn't cost that much to try, so it Thanks for watching today. Um, I've got like loads of other like full faces kind of things to do soon. I've got um, Technic, I've got loads of Technic makeup, I've got a load of Olivia Hale makeup from Home Bargains, I've got Shop Miss A. So like loads of those videos will slowly be coming out. I'm just, I'm finding it really hard to find time to film at the moment. So that's why my videos have slowed down a little bit. Um, so yeah, that's everything I wanted to say. So thanks for watching. And I I will see you again shortly. Bye!